Jerry, did you start to fight back too late? Yeah, or... Yeah, there were two fight backs. Um, right before half time when we scored that try, which possibly we shouldn't have scored. It was against the run of play and we went into the half time and we probably had a little bit of momentum. And that's what usually happens to us week in and week out. We usually play an opposition that score right on the half at half time. So it's, it can, be, can really hurt you. And, the second half, uh, particularly toward the mid part to the end part, um, it's been a little bit about how we played. Um, we, we do tend to come back. Um, we have done three out of our last four games. So I don't think it's a question of fighting back too late. I think it's a question of playing for 80 minutes. And I know it sounded like a broken record, but um, my message to the players was to play for 80 minutes. And again, we were unable to do that. And combined with, uh, I think it would have been 12 or 13 errors, you know, we got, we're a long way off. Our, our first win after today's performance. Yeah, four mistakes, four tries. Yeah, um, really hurt us. Yeah, really hurt us, and uh, disappointing uh, because it, it wasn't through um, something brilliant. It was just generic, basic skill, uh, fundamental under six level, and that's the. Um, disappointing part and we had a couple of op opportunities and I'm sure you guys saw it yourself where we had two on one or, or three on one and we were able we were unable to complete that try or complete that pass which would have led to two tries so it's frustrating as a coach but um, we'll pick that up and deal with that on Monday at training you come up a good, against a good player in Kevin Brown he's um, you know we played Danny Ruff last week and Kevin Brown this week um, I've got so much admiration for those two. They could uh, do a job in NRL and be dominant in the NRL. Their kicking game is... Um, not only do you have to contest against 13 players, you've got to contest against their kicking game. He kicked us off the park today, as Danny Bruff did last week. So, what a quality player. And I understand he's a, he's a great bloke too, and he leads his team around. They just lift when he plays. Um, yeah, great player. I think they're really important for where I want to uh, I want to take our club next year and the next two years and I'm, I'm, it's a really good question you ask and I appreciate the question is that they've won three games back to back um, which I understand hasn't been done for quite some time eight or nine years from what I led to believe and for those guys to win with their two key key players in Joe Keys and, and James Woodburn Hall, who ironically got man of the match today. It says a little bit about um, our club. Um, we don't necessarily want to go to the northern part of England or to Australia or New Zealand to sign players. We want to generate players in our own backyard. And I just told them how proud I was, not just me, but the club, um, the executive and, and, and the you know backroom staff. And I mentioned it to the players before the game because they can really ignite you um, to get you a win. And, if they've got the right confidence, then we're doing something right um, from the lower grades, and that's going to transfer through to the first, wherever we are next year and the following year. So it was just a congratulations to them and to keep on going and let's make four in a row. So that was the message for me. As the season wears on, do you reckon you'll start blooding a few more in? Without a doubt. And particularly not because we are losing, it's because they're playing well. Um, Joe Keyes, Harvey Burnett, um, Toby Everett, John Wallace, um, excuse me if I've forgotten someone, but they've just recently signed contracts. Oh, young, young Alex Walker. They've just recently signed contacts, uh, contracts with us. Now, if they're the future of our club and they're playing good football in the 19s, I'd be crazy not to give, it, give them an opportunity. Joe Keyes didn't look out of place today. He was on that right-hand side, three kicks for three high finishes, and that's what we, um, we, we want to encourage. If you can play and dominate under-19s and you keep on winning, you're going to get an opportunity. So the answer to your question is quite clear and absolutely yes. He did, and they had a draw against Australia, which he, he texted me about. Richard Harris got three yep. in the same game. So London Broncos got 38 or 34 points against South Africa today. Yeah, oh, no, I spoke to Harv this morning via text to congratulate him on the draw um, against Australia yesterday. So we've got five or six kids coming through our program, and if we can get it right, if we can get the balance right uh, next year, um, with the guys we're recruiting and retaining ret uh, retaining to the club. You know, 
we could do a, um, a Castleford in you know a couple of seasons. We could do what Witness have been doing over the last two or three seasons. So what they've done works, and you know to be fair, I'm trying to use what they've done as motivation to get us where we, the London Broncos, should be. Did you switch full backs in the second half? Yeah, the last um, 15, 20 minutes. Yep, I put um, um, Cunning, uh, yeah, um, Jamie Arkell to full back and Ilias McCartney right wing. Were you, do you think that Ilias was really struggling at full back? Yeah, I think he um, um, made a couple of errors and he just wasn't concentrating. And I know that he was worried about the errors rather than his game, so it was a, a tactical thing. And for him, he's got a real difficult job. I mean, our number one full back. In Nezi Matty Tong is injured. Our number two fullback in uh, Ben Farrer is injured. Um, well, excuse me, our number one fullback would be Kieran Dixon, I guess. So to have him as, and I mean this respectfully, fourth string fullback, um, you know, it's a tough gig back there. Yeah. Are they long term injuries for Nezi and uh, Ben? Nezi, um, we were told that Nezi had uh, syndesmosis uh, two weeks ago, but we understand now that it's not syndesmosis, so it could be as early as two or three weeks. Ben Farrer is probably maybe shy of a week, um, so he possibly could be back. And Kieran's, Kieran's back in about um, four weeks, um, or he sees a surgeon in four weeks, so he'll be hopefully be available for selection shortly after that. He must be 